So one thing that's been on my heart lately, right, is the way that we continue to just kind of manipulate God. We only need God when we go through something traumatic in life. When everything is all good in our life, we're good. When things go bad and things get hectic, we cry out for God. And this is in society as a whole, in this generation as a whole. We don't believe in God. But well, the moment something happened, man, pray for me. I need the prayer. The Bible says to pray without season. If I should be praying without season, that means if it's good, if it's bad, if it's shaky. It, look, if any point of my life I'm praying out to God because your heart is deceitful, right? You battle against flesh and blood. You battle not against flesh and blood, but you battle against the things that are not seen. You, every day is a spiritual battle. So it should not be just, I'll pray one day or i pray before I go to sleep. It should be throughout the day when my mind is wandering, I'm praying. When I'm battling against my flesh, I'm praying. To pray without season means to never stop praying. So if you say that you truly love God and you say that, oh, he's, 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 the, he's the head of my life, he's the head of my marriage, yet you don't even pray for your marriage, you don't pray for your, your, your family's salvation, you don't pray for nobody in your life that you surround yourself with, you technically wrong in matthew chapter 15 verse 8 it says these people draw near me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me and i don't want to be caught in that bubble i really don't want to be a person that talk to get for the gab but when i'm in my sacred place when i'm alone when i'm struggling with my thoughts and my desires that i can't even call him the king that I can't even call on him and ask him, God, help me with this. And that's what it should be like. This is a relationship. It should never feel forced. And people think that it's, it's God giving you an ultimatum. No, he gives you free will. It's not an ultimatum. God don't have to give you an ultimatum because ultimately God does not need you. You need God. Without God, everyone is evil, right? You were born in sin. The natural desires of your heart is to, is, is to, is to move in the flesh and not in the spirit. So you need God. He does not need you. So this morning, I challenge you and I encourage you to somehow stir up the faith in God to, to, to let him work in your marriage, to let him work on your family member that has an addiction, to pray for that family member, to pray for their salvation. It should not just be a, a, a once a week thing, because imagine if I was in a relationship with the woman or if I was in a relationship with the man, my significant other. And the only time I call upon him is when I need him. The only time I, I let them know that I love them is when I need something. Imagine your child coming to you, how disrespected you will feel like, hey, dad, how you doing today? They sit down with you. I need something. But the only reason why they came to you is because they needed something. So imagine you continue to play God like that. You continue to let God know, oh, I only love you because on the back end, I need something. And even then, when God blesses you, you don't even give him the glory for it. It was all you. It should never be like that. So this morning, I encourage you and I challenge you to make it to where it's glorifying God in all things you do. I don't I don't want to play. I don't want to toy around. We know that you're not saved by your works. But ultimately, I want to have a relationship. I want to have a relationship with my he heavenly father. And I don't want to manipulate. I don't want to be a hypocrite. When I'm in my sacred place, when I'm alone in my car, when I know that I'm battling, when I'm when I'm driving around at work, whatever you're doing on your daily encounter. When the heart is deceiving you, right? When the heart is deceiving you. Are you praying? Are you praying to God? Talk to God. Let him know this is what I'm struggling with in my life. This is what I'm struggling with in my thoughts. This is what I'm struggling with in my marriage. I'm struggling with this with my kids. Why can't you talk to God when everything is wrong, when everything is good? All times of your life. Pray to God. Talk to him. Let him know what you're going through. That's all God wants is he wants you to... Uh, I always look at things in, in, in a father and a son, a father and a daughter perspective, right? I want my kid to come to me and need me. Not that I'm forcing them, but I want my kid to know that I'm here for them. That if they need advice to me, yes, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make sure that I give them the best advice I can get based off of scripture, right? Based off of my life experiences. But just imagine you're, you're a father of a kid, you're a mother of a kid. And all you want is for your child to, to know that they're comfortable and that they can come to you, that they can talk to you, that they can seek you for some type of understanding of what they're going through. And imagine if your kid felt like they did not need you. If, if your nine-year-old, your 10-year-old, your five-year-old, six-year-old felt like they never needed you. It's like when your kid goes from being a baby and they get in that stage. I'm going through that stage with my son right now. Imagine, two years old, they need you. You used to cut up their food. Then they get to like six years old, daddy, I got it. I don't need it. Something within you is like, man, 
I remember when I did everything for you. It's the same way with God. God just wants you to desire relationship with him. To desire the, the love that he gives you. Because it's no joy in the outside things of this world. It's really not. You can possess all the worldly things and somehow, some way, when it crumbles or when you realize that it doesn't even mean that much to you, you realize how vain it is. It's like me, right? I like shoes. When I buy these shoes, man, I see them on the sneakers website and I know somebody could listen to this and relate to this. When I buy these shoes, they look good. These shoes look good online. When I put them on and I, and I get them out the box, I put them on. Okay, they look good. After a few words, they're dirty. So if you if you put all your eggs in one basket, right? Let's say spiritually, you put all your eggs in one basket. Man, I put all my life into my job. Now what do you do when you lose that job? Now what do you do when you lose that relationship that you put over God? So this morning, I encourage you to put God first in all things that you do, right? And as we read in Matthew 15, verse 8, it says, These people draw near me with their mouth. They draw near me with their mouth, only with their mouth. Nothing else about them desires me. When they're in their sacred place, they don't even talk to me. They don't know me. They don't know me until they go through something bad. I don't want to be that person, right? I don't want to be that person that when I get to my day of judgment and God sees me, he tells me to depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew. I really don't want to be that person. So every day I should be dying to self. I should be taking up my cross and just seeking God. Seeking a relationship with God so that you know that the Holy Spirit is working within you. Even if the, the, the prayers that you prayed, you don't feel like they're answered. Just know that God somehow is working behind the scenes. So I encourage you this morning. And I want to let you know that God loves you, right? He might not let us send you in. He might not let an area that you in your life, but God created you. I don't want to be against God. I don't want, I don't want to hate the creator, right? The person who created everything, the person who knows what I'm thinking right now, the person who knew that I was going to make this video and someone will be touched by this video. I don't want to be against them. I don't want to pimp out God and feel like I only use him and abuse him when I need him. So I encourage you this morning. I hope this message, I hope this short video will help you out in Jesus name. God bless you.